This is Andrew Kramer, urologist and high-volume penile implant surgeon, Urology Associates Cape Cod. This gentleman comes right out of town. He's seen a lot of videos. He wants revision. His biggest issue is was done infrapubically. And I think in the end, the two major issues are a lot of kinking and torquing of his implant due to sort of a cluster of tubings above the penis rather than from below. Uh, and also his tips are just too short. That could be one and the same. Sometimes with infrapubic, I've seen tips not go all the way up. And Anyway, we go in. Let me get to what we're doing now. There was actually a little hole in the cylinder on the right. So that might have been why he seemed to have sort of a slow leak. But I did find that there was a little developing hole there in the right cylinder. So anyway, I've got both corpora identified. I'm going to take the cylinders out. By the way, in the end, we're going to add at least two to two and a half centimeters per side. And next, we've got the cylinder out, skipping ahead here. And... I'm going to measure, and I know his previous site is subcoronal, doesn't go all the way up. So, and the patient said to me after he watched videos, did you have to use the scissors? I did, so let me show you. First, though, I actually gave him a new reservoir, and I saw him in his hotel post-operative day two, and he said, did you reuse the same reservoir? I said, yes, but we didn't. Uh, new reservoir on the left, so if he's watching, we did do that. Now, let me tell you the most important step is that scissors, because you've got to get beyond or the old capsule. He had a capsule. capsule wasn't high enough. The capsule was not all the way up to the tip of the penis. I'm going to go back and forth between the blue dilator, the uh, furlough, and the scissor, getting through the capsule. Now, the cells are very, very, it's just a couple um, layers up there at the tip of the penis, the meatus, so you can perforate very easily, and it would ruin all that hard work and all the effort if you perforate, you got to take everything out. So I'll go as far as I can without perforation. But he came, flew from out of town to get me to push the envelope, and I did. So cylinder on the right goes in, cylinder left goes in. And again, I fixed the things. The cylinders go all the way up. I scissored past the capsule. And all that clustered tubing up above is gone. Now it comes from below where the penis get a sharp leftward S-shaped curve. And you know what? None of that was uh, intrinsic to him. He's got a straight penis. It was just twisted, I think, by all those tubings. So when I go scrotally, we get the tips all the way up. Uh, wouldn't you know his penis is straight? There's no curve. And I, I think he sort of got used to the fact that, you know, he must have had a curve in his penis. And But anyway, tip on the right is all the way up. But uh, you feel it a little bit under the penis. That's the only thing. But the left is all the way up. Tips are high. Andrew Kramer, Urology Associates, Cape Cod, for this gentleman from Charlotte. Thank you so much.